viewers, thank you for your time and for your love for God. When you talk of Christianity, what is the main thing? Is it the work we do or relationship we keep? The main thing about Christianity is not the work we do, but the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by that relationship. A proper relationship brings a proper what? Atmosphere. The subject matter hindrance to prayer. A good example, you used to be a drunker, a smoker, just measure any bad habits before, but now you are a Christian. I mean, you are born again. You have stopped them. But the urge for it is still there. Question, are you really born again by God's standard? Are you really born again by what? God's standard. Since the hodge still there. And we know what the war hodge means. Very tormenting, very irritating, discomfort, painful, distress. When you have hodge to do something, what an agony. Affliction. You can regard it as an affliction. In this case, only God can know that you are not born again. But people out there, they have not been seeing you smoking, lying, grumbling, this, that. They will see you as what? Born again. This is the case with church people today. Only God can know that you are not born again. The fact that people do not see you again in your former bad attitude, orientation, character, disposition, does not mean you are truly born again. Only God Almighty, who knows the heart of man. Remember the book of Matthew 5, verse 8. Blessed are those pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are those pure in heart, for they shall see who? See God. In First Corinthians Two, verse 16, they say, we have the mind of God. The mind of God is pure. Let's take a passage in the Bible. The book of Psalm 66, verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. To regard iniquity is to have hodge. When the hodge comes, the iniquity is talking. That is the voice of iniquities. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. A good example, after stopping your bad habit, you still have hodge. The law will not hear you. To regard iniquity in the heart means that there is some sort or degree of sympathy with sin. The state of your mind determines the kind of dream you have. Can you see the cause of your spiritual attack and you are born again? This message is too fundamental 
and this is the standard of God. Let someone say, hindrance to prayers. Blessed are those pure in heart. They shall pray and their prayer shall answer. Remember, faith, we talk about, I have faith in God. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. Only faith places him. What is faith? Faith is of man's heart, not of man's mind or flesh. This is the case with church people today. I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. Why can't you allow the atmosphere to say this? What do I mean by atmosphere? The atmosphere you belong will tell people you are born again. If truly you are born again, the atmosphere you live will truly produce that blessing. Relationship will keep and the atmosphere produced by that relationship tell that you are born again. If I'm standing here and say, I'm prophet TV Joshua, that may not well appropriate the atmosphere surround me will prove to you that I'm prophet TV Joshua. Anywhere I move to, that atmosphere will surround me. You tell people it's a born again. When you are coming with your attack, you see that something will resist you. Yes, there is a big hand following this man. When you cause this man, you realize that the cause would not reach him. Oh, there is a big hand following this man. What you are trying to do seems impossible. When the man attempted, it, it becomes possible. You know, ah, there's a big girl. What is not just possible for man seems to be possible for him. Where there's finger of God. It is finger of God that makes impossible possible. <laughs> Faith must be confessed and faith must be worked out in action. Faith must be tested by tribulation. Tell your neighbor, faith must be confessed with the mouth. Tell your neighbor once again. Faith must be confessed with the mouth. Faith must be worked out in action. Faith must be tested by tribulation. The situation with church people today, once they come out and say, I confess I'm a smoker, but today I've stopped smoking. You will not see them around smoking, truly. A criminal, now I've stopped. But truly, you cannot see them in that action again. But you should allow God to mark it. You know what I mean by mark it? After you have finished the job, God say I should carry this, and I carry it. It's not just enough for me to come and say, yes, I must make it, I have carried it, and yes, God said I should carry it, I have carried it, yes, I'm a child of God. No, God needs to know by what authority you carry it. Because also, Satan can carry that thing. This evil spirit can help to carry that thing. But it's always attached with pain. Evil spirit can give you money, but with pain. 
It can give you everything you talk about with pain. Pain. So God wants to know. It's not enough for you to say, yes, I've got it, I've got it. Wait for God to say you have got it. After you have successfully finished the job, you need to wait for God to mark it. When God mark it, he will come out to say, yeah, you have made it. So in the same day, if you now say, I'm born again because uh, you used to be a drunkard, you have stopped this, I'm born again because I used to be a liar, I have stopped it, I'm born again because I used to be a very bad boy, I've stopped it. People have seen me now, I've stopped those nonsense. Yes, the world will see me as a born again. But what of the urge to smoke, to do those baba things, still tormenting you? An urge, very distressed, very discomfort, is an affliction. It's a big agony. This is what many of you are facing today. This is challenges you are having. They say you don't love money. Before now, you love money so much. But no, no, but... That hurt for money is so much, it's tormenting you. So tormenting you. It is because of this hurt of uh, fornication, immorality, that actually now lead people to pornography today. They say, no, Chibi, God said, thou shalt not fornicate. Okay? I'm born again. I'm not fornicating. Nobody say you're fornicating, but you are doing pornography, masturbation, you are into that. That is what you resort to. It is that hodge. But people around will never see you. Even when a woman touches you, say, no, don't touch me, I'm holy. When a man touch you, you say, no, 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 don't touch him, I'm a woman of God. But only God who knows the heart of man can say, you are born again. Because blessed are those pure in heart. For they shall see what? The fact that people do not see you again in your former bad attitude orientation, character, disposition does not mean you are truly born again. Only God Almighty who knows the heart of man. Remember the book of Matthew 5 verse 8. Blessed are those pure in heart for they shall see God. Blessed are those pure in art, for they shall see who? See God. Everybody has a camera. If you stop people from drinking, smoking, that, and God is not involved, the camera he has in memory here, he will be rewinding it. He will not do those things, but he will be doing it. While sitting down alone, he will be doing it. If it is sex, he, will, he can make sex without sleeping with anyone. The camera is there. He will continue to rewind those he has done in the past. The record is here to rewind it. Rewind it. Ten years ago, what he did, he will rewind it. Five years ago, what he did, he will rewind it. Last year, he will rewind it. He will continue to rewind the record. Rewinding the record. Record of the past. Record of the past. Record of the past. And he will be satisfied not as doing it. And that one is more tormenting than even doing it. We have camera here. And this camera recorded every event we have. Right from when we mature to know the right and wrong, the record have, have recorded everything you have done in the past. When we are born again and God is involved, that is the record Jesus destroyed us. He will destroy the record and remove it from your memory. That is the first thing where Jesus goes. When he's involved in your conversion, the first thing the Holy Spirit will do, 
he will go to that camera recording and remove it. Now, it's over to you to begin to record your present now, your future now. And your present now, your future are for Jesus. So, all record you have, right from beginning, when you are mature, will be removed and be destroyed. Now, you will now begin to record your life in Christ Jesus now. But if Jesus is not involved in your conversion, and you just say, no, I'm not, I'm not going to smoke again, I'm not going to drink again, I'm not going to do this again. Truly, you have the power to stop those things, but if God is not involved, the record is there, you just begin to rewind it. If you cannot do more now, you have to rewind event in the past. And when you rewind it, you begin to see, 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 you enjoy it. Not to satisfaction. That is why it's very dangerous than doing it. That is why you see those who have those serious hearts, you always see them as if they have psychological war. Mm. The loss of memory is number one. They can easily forget anything, just like that. Just like that. Absent of mind, they can stand and be looking. They forget themselves. They can even forget to eat food. They may not eat from money tonight. They will not have much for food because they are not satisfied their needs. And this is what our youth nowadays resort to. If you have a sister, you have brother, you have young, your children at home, you always see him alone. You see him say, hey, he's a very decent boy, he's a very decent girl. Ah, it's too early to say that. The one is involved is more dangerous than going to hotel, which is very tormenting. Don't stand for your children and say, no, I can stand for my child. My child is this and my child is this. No, I'll fight the battle. Uh, you are disabled yourself. Even you yourself. You know a number of hordes you have that is tormenting you. And you know your children, we are exposed to technology, internet, and all of that. Everything we see today, given us those things. Father, we are in your presence. Open the door of our heart. And connect us to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Say, connect me to the Holy Spirit. I can hear you. Connect me to I can hear you. I can hear you. Connect me to the Holy Spirit. Open the door of my heart. Oh Lord. Open the door of my heart and connect me, Lord, to the Holy Spirit. Prayer. Abra sus labios, confía en su corazón y diga, oh Señor, conéctame al Espíritu Santo. Abre la puerta de mi corazón. Abre la puerta de mi corazón, Señor, y conéctame a tu Santo Espíritu. Open the door of my heart, Lord. La puerta de mi corazón, Señor. And connect me. Y connect me. Connect me to the Holy Spirit. Al Espíritu Santo. Ouvre la porte de mon cœur, Señor, y conéctame a tu Santo Espíritu. Pide. Abra sus labios y pide a Dios que abra la puerta de su corazón y que lo conecte al Espíritu Santo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember the title of the message, Hindrance to Prayer. Hindrance to Prayer. You say, ah, this is what has been hindering me. Okay. The thing I close my eyes, no, I don't want to look at it. I'm a child of God. Okay, you are a child of God. You are a child of God by sight. You are a child of God by faith. And faith is of man's heart. Oh, if I'm talking to you, let us see your heart. Come, Uncle. 
I look at Uncle and say, no, I don't want to look. This temptation. This temptation, I don't want to look. I'm a child of God. You are not a child of God by sight. You are a child of God by faith. And faith is of man's heart. So if I say I don't want to look, but my heart is yearning for it. If my heart is not yearning for it, I will look. I will look and I will laugh. I will just march and say, oh, how about you? Fine. I will just look and go on my own. If my heart is not yet for it, why should I complain? You know? This is the case with church people today. I realize that Christianity today is all about... Uh, so I'm, I'm no more doing this, I'm no more doing that, but the urge to do them is still there. That is what Christianity is all about. And that is not God's standard. So I ask God, what is the way? Something is coming on your way. I can't just wait. While you are at home anywhere, something is about to come that I have started talking about it. The urge, once you are delivered, the urge, no, to regard iniquity in our heart means there is some sort or degree of sympathy we sin. And our heart is a communication point, contact point. Heart is our is contact point. The Bible says, he that believes has internal life. He that believes has internal life. It's not say, he that confess. Confession is one, but that belief means confession Anyone can confess Jesus. Not everyone can say, I believe Jesus in truth and faith. He that believes has internal life. This means the moment you believe, you have it. Believing is possessing. As soon as you believe, you receive. The moment you believe, you receive. 